Mazda's largest vehicle has been completely redesigned, renamed, and given the plug-in treatment, but much of it is disappointing. This is the 2024 CX-90. Replacing the CX-9 is this CX-90, pivoting to a larger, rear-wheel biased platform with a Turbo 6 positioned longitudinally, just like in the luxury SUVs it longs to emulate. All-wheel drive is standard, but I'm not driving that CX-90. I've got the new plug-in hybrid, offering 26 miles of EV driving on a full charge and up to 490 miles of range in total. Unfortunately, you don't get the new inline six here. Instead, there's a gruff 2.5 liter four cylinder that pairs with a 68 kilowatt electric motor to produce its maximum system output of 323 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. It's not quite as powerful as the standard CX-90. It's also 500 pounds heavier. Max towing is 3,500 pounds. Charging the smallest battery takes a quick 90 minutes using a level two charger or about six hours if plugged into a standard 120 volt outlet. Available in three trims, the PHEV starts at 48,820, while this range topping premium plus model with seven passenger seating checks in at 58,920. If leased, however, it does qualify for a $7,500 incentive. The negatives here center around expectations versus price point. So at nearly $60,000, there's just not enough electric range here. The four-cylinder eight-speed hybrid powertrain really lacks refinement and wants premium gas. The ride quality isn't very good. And for a brand that is striving to move up to the penthouse, this isn't premium enough. The best parts of the CX-90 are its looks and the generously sized third row. The shifter movement is also problematic. I can't tell you how many times I've mistakenly shifted into drive as opposed to reverse. Now the Mitsubishi Outlander is the best plug-in hybrid SUV currently on the market and comes across as more polished than the CX-90 for far less and with considerably more electric range. So if the CX-90 appeals to you, stick with the 3.3 liter engine in either its 280 or 340 horsepower tunes with its mild hybrid powertrain instead. No matter which engine you choose, expect around 25 MPG. Pricing for the gas-only model starts at $41,000. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.